Hello guys, this is Alex and welcome back to another F1 video. Today we're going to be around Monaco, which is just brilliant. The place you want to go after you've had two DNFs. Um, admittedly both weren't my fault, but here we are. So, yeah, we've just, I've just checked my emails and we've got another email from Ollie saying about the mechanical failure and it's, you know, I've had two races now where I've been in and around the points and I've had to DNF because of the car. Um, so the Honda en power engine not doing us the most favours and Perez did retire as well from the Bahrain Grand Prix which is a Honda based engine as well so you can see that we're rock bottom in the driver standings you know we haven't ha even had a chance but you know Zoe's doing not too badly in 16th admittedly hasn't got a point yet but neither do I so I can't I can't complain with him and look at that look two two bits of the engine completely dead already and we're only two races in it's it's not good. It's not good to be honest. Cross the line in P19 and I wasn't looking where I was going. I'll take a P19. I know that sounds ridiculous, but this track, oh my lord, especially on controller. Whew. And cross the line up into P17. Wow, I'll take. I know that's not even into Q. To, but I'll honestly take that. I really can't get on with the track. Oh wow, and look at that. Fernando Alonso in the Alpine car, fastest in Q1. Fair play to him. But I think. Um, oh, we ended up 20th, so we went back down the order a bit. But And look at that. Fair play to Mick Schumacher as well, making Q2. But. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be very tricky, but I knew that anyway, so... A proper road race, and in the true meaning of the word. That was how Mr Monaco, the late great Graham Hill, once described this iconic event. The cars we drive have come a long way in the intervening half century, but still we race on those same public roads beside the Mediterranean Sea. There's no victory more coveted than that of the Monaco Grand Prix. The prestigious Circuit de Monaco then. It's not all that dissimilar today to the layout that made its debut almost a century ago. It's two miles and 19 corners through the streets of Monte Carlo. And although the average lap speed of around 93 miles per hour is the lowest of the season, the tiny margins for error make it the natural habitat of the safety car. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Perez, Verstappen, Lando Norris, and Leclerc, Ricardo, Sainz, Gasly, and Sebastian Vettel, Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, Lance Stroll and Ocon, Mick Schumacher, Giovinazzi, George Russell and Kimi Raikkonen, Joe, Alexander, Mazepin and Nicholas Latifi. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Okay, so okay here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. So here we go, it's just a basic one stop. I've lowered the fuel. If I can just finish the race, that would be nice without any... And off we go. Can we get a good start, please? Zoe's got a very good launch, and so is Mazapan on myself. Trying to find a gap. Going around the outside of our teammate Zoe. It hasn't worked. And here we go, we're now in the traffic jam of Monaco. 
There we go, we're going to send one down the inside. Can we overtake Russell up into P16 now? Can I overtake Schumacher around the hairpin? Potentially. I just don't want to hit the wall. Keeping our foot in there. And we've got the move done on Schumacher up to P15 now. That was a good move. With the front wing. You've taken some minor damage. Okay, the front wing's taking some minor damage, which is never good. But up to P15, which is very good for me. Copy that. Let me concentrate, Jeff. Russell's down my inside. I mean, I'm thinking, right? I'll probably want to just try and stay... A knock-on's gone into the pits. So that's another free position up to P14. Okay, we're on lap three, nearly onto lap four now, and the engineer said I've got minor front wing damage, but I'm happy to stay out. It's not worth pitting. If I pit, the whole race done. So on P14, I know there's a big gap to stroll ahead, but you know, safety car or something like that, and all of a sudden it's all back up, all close again. So this is the only real place I. What's, what just happened then? The bottom right, bottom left. Deploy use. I don't know. Okay, we're on lap six now, and you can see in the top left, I'm building a bit of a gap between me and Russell, which is what I wanted, just to give me a bit less pressure. But the car's ahead. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna catch. It's, it's too late now. It's it's done. It's gone. But I've looking at how quickly I'm losing Russell he might have some damage or something because I, I shouldn't be you know losing him that quickly and it's caught up to us now finally it was it was gonna happen I'm not too good around this track it's just it's a controller person's nightmare to be honest you've got to really really concentrate um, so yeah I'm not surprised he's caught us up Raikkonen is right behind us now, pressurising us. Lack of downforce, poor car. I'm not personally. I'm not very good around the track myself. All of that together is allowing the cars behind to catch us up. But we've managed to hold on to the position for now. But it's just for how long? We're leading our teammate by 2.4 seconds. Raikkonen is going for the move on us, but it's Monaco. He knows that more than anyone, and it's very difficult to overtake here. But he's coming again. Oh, he's going down the inside. Don't panic just yet, but uh, we've seen a problem at our end. We're looking no, into not again. You joke. It's like this is ridiculous at this point. If it, this is ridiculous. If I have to DNF again, if I have to DNF again, this is ridiculous. How? Okay, looks like a mechanical failure. We're going to have to ask you to find a safe spot to retire. Sorry about that. Gap to car in front is 31. I can't. I generally can't believe this. Find somewhere to retire immediately. It's too dangerous to stay on track. <sighs> I've had to DNF again. Three races in a row. Three races in a row. This is this is ridiculous. They've done it then. They genuinely that's ridiculous. And I can see the drivers starting to. How 
I mean, I wasn't going to get points that race, but how am I going to get points if the car can't Let's finish? Let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader, and their advantage at the top has been reduced. <sighs> Some amazing talent out on the track today. But so Anthony, the standings. who would you pick as your driver of the day? Well, Lance Stroll would be my pick. He managed to keep a cool head today whilst pushing through the field. There's it's the standings. I am the so... Standings. Mercedes continue to I'm so angry, lead. to be honest. <laughs> I'm I am angry now because it's it's getting stupid. Like I've doing durability upgrades. It's happened three races on the trot now. Where the car's just packed up. I even ch after the second DNF I checked the settings and it is set to low.